All right, let's head over to Hollywood Classics. So we're sort of cheating uh, in that this is, while an old movie and a classic film, it is not from Hollywood, it is from England. Yet yeah, this time we're gonna talk about Kind Hearts and Coronets, a classic English comedy starring the great Sir Alec Guinness. Uh, now this is, this is one of those movies that I had heard of for a long time and had never seen, saw it was gonna be on Turner Classics, thought let's give it a shot. Now what I didn't know is that this movie is based on the same book as the quasi-recent Broadway smash, A Gentleman's Guide to Love and Murder. So they share a pretty identical storyline. Now, we, my wife and I, we went and saw A Gentleman's Guide when it, came, uh, when it came to Minneapolis here, and we absolutely loved it. We thought it was just terrific. One of the, one of the best you know, musicals we have ever seen in a, in, you know, in a live people acting theater setting. Uh, so we absolutely loved that. So when I, when I twigged watching Kind Hearts and Coronet, so when I twigged to it being the same story, I was like, oh, well, I liked that other story. I liked it so much in the play, maybe I'll like it a lot here. And here's the thing, on my initial viewing, I, I didn't love it. The story uh, centers around a, a young man who's, uh, whose mother has passed on and he's never really known his family. He doesn't have a ton of money. Uh, and he comes to find out that, he's act, that his mom was actually a member of this very rich family that had disowned her when she had had him. And so he decides that he wants the family fortune, and the way to do that is to kill the eight or nine people in line for the inheritance ahead of him. And then these eight or nine people are all played by Alec Guinness. So you have Guinness playing these multiple roles and doing an excellent job with it. I suppose my problem with the movie initially is that Gentleman's Guide can be a very colorful and broad play, while as this movie is sort of uh, plays things a little closer to the vest and is a lot more dry. But since viewing it, I have to admit it's been growing on me. It's one of those movies that is stuck in my head and that I've been thinking about. Guinness, again, I can't say enough how tremendous he is. The whole cast, which is a group of people who, you know, as British actors, I'm not super uh, familiar with, but I did like all of them. I would say I liked the play more, and I particularly liked the conclusion of the play more uh, for because of a couple of twists, both a romantic twist about who our hero ends up with, and a twist regarding um, regarding the the family, uh, which I don't want to spoil because. Gentleman's Guide's not an easy thing to see, and it's not easy necessarily to go to a play if it's not in town, but I don't want to spoil it because I liked it a lot. Regardless, this isn't a review of that, it's a review of Kind Hearts and Coronets. It was a movie I liked, and it's a movie I would like to revisit. I'm going to give it three and a half stars.